All right, hello everyone. Today's video is in response to numerous questions that have been coming in. Specifically, why does the factory Q system fail in such large numbers? So today I'm gonna to dig into the details and explain why from an engineering perspective, there are so many failing and how you can fix your defective screen with a more reliable permanent solution. Cadillac used these systems in every car they sold from 2013 to 2018, and they all share the same common design failure. Now using a component across different models is great for cost savings because it reduces developmental costs, but only if the design is properly tested and very reliable. This is something that's very common. You touch the screen and nothing happens. So the system doesn't know what application to bring up because it can't tell where your finger is, is, is pressing. And that's really the core problem here. Also there are, uh, it's very common to have cracking in the, the panel too. So. During this analysis, I'm gonna compare on the left side, the factory GM screen that I pulled out from my 2014 personal vehicle, uh, an ATS. On the right side is our Q replacement factory grade screen. I'm gonna show the, the differences between the two and why the Q screen is meant to last a lifetime. So <clears throat> the first thing to understand is the, the screen that uses the, the Q system uses is a capacitive touch screen. So what that means is there are driving lines and sensing lines, and where you touch on the screen, it creates electrical discharge point and will connect the sensing, the driving lines, and it will tell the system where you're pressing so it knows what application to bring up, whether audio, XM, navigation, etc. So if those lines are not communicating, that is going to result in no touch response. So I open up the Cadillac screen, and I, we see a couple, a couple glaring design defects. First off, the wires, the traces are very, very thin. So if those lines are too thin and too weak, they're gonna break over time. And on the, the horizontal to vertical transition is a hard right angle. So that allows a lot of stress to build up there and will uh, contribute to early cracking after a few years, which is what we're seeing. Now the factory uh, replacement Q screens screen uh, fixes these issues. The traces are about three times thicker more robust, less prone to breaking, and they, the, the transition from horizontal to vertical is not a hard right angle, it's more of a smooth angled transition, so that way the stress is the stresses are spread out over a longer distance and, uh, and less prone to breaking. This side by side really tells the tale of, of the thin weak lines on the Cadillac screen versus the key replacement. Um, on the right side, they're much thicker, uh, they're going to last forever, it's not going to break after a couple years like the factory Cadillac one. So it's important to remember the Q system was in development in the late 2000s to early 2010s and maybe there was enough testing for a short time but what we're seeing is is this failures are really starting to become exposed after about two three four years in the field uh, of use so we have different environments across the world uh, hot cold um, we have different touch pressures and there's a lot of different variables that really expose these weak traces to break over time so probably um, the engineers did testing on it and it seemed to work well in relatively limited testing but the long-term various uh, environmental testing is what exposes this issue so um, don't worry we are here to help at QScreens you can order a replacement and uh, replace it yourself at a very low cost with a permanent solution that won't have the same issues that we described with the factory screen Thanks for watching.